These are the new ones. Look at that. Look at those. All brand new. And these are the ones that have the the store. You can have a store on the first floor and then the other two floors can be your living situation. Yeah, these are going for a little bit over half a million half a million dollars, yeah. Yeah. But a little over half a million these new ones and if we can get a condo like a block away. Yeah. I I think that's pretty good. And you're right next to the train station right it's here. It's next to the train station. There's people biking. There's bus routes. There's all sorts of things. So I'm not sure if you can see, but on this main street where this other neighborhood that we're going to be looking at, it's a little bit more industrial. And there's a couple of businesses here and there. So it's on a main street, which is... Good. I think this is Redwood and then the ones over here are good. Oh yeah, Redwoods. Do you yes. want to check out these first? Yes. These are actually inside. really pretty on the inside. Okay. So this is a huge complex, so we're not really going to walk around because there's no neighborhood to walk around. But we can just drive around. So we're going to drive, yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Well, I, could, I could see why they call it Redwoods, that's for sure. They look like mini Redwoods. Oh. It's all cabiny. Okay, but again, this is like apartment. Look at all these carports. Yeah, but they're pretty. I know. <laughs> I shouldn't be looking at the prettiness, but these are nice. Alright, we have to look at comps and everything as well. We're honestly right now just checking out to see what type of condos are out there. And, and what neighborhoods they're at. And what they look like. We're seeing face value. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so you don't get a garage. Mm -hmm. And you get these speed bumps. They're huge. Right, so every day when you drive home, you get a speed bump. But it seems safe and quiet. Like I don't see trash or kids playing around. Or weird stuff going around here. True, but I honestly don't think that condos with this many units go up in value very quickly. I don't think this feels very homey. I, maybe. It's really cute. I would consider this if there were houses here. So across, literally just across, is called Shadow Hollow. Those are little mini houses that have an association. So they're not even really like, sing they're single family homes, but you still have to pay an HOA to live there. Next to it is more condos, and over, and here, over here is condo more condos called Monterey Villas. Monterey. Monterey Villas. Monterey. <laughs> I said that. Oh, this is not the way you should get it. This is a dead end. Who has a dead end as an entrance? I know. So, in in the one block alone. Uh, it's uh, in, in a couple of block radius there's I want to say five different condo complexes yeah without a house in between or, or anything like breaking it and then just businesses here businesses businesses they don't have a gate there's no gate and these are just carports again and speed bumps I don't know why but I'm so tired of speed bumps um, when I was looking at the, there's actually two for sale here. There's, there's two? There's two for sale here, and the kitchen was really small, but, but they they're were, cheap. They were cheap and updated, and the kitchen was small, so the overall size of the apartments, condos, mm -hmm. um, was smaller than the ones we were looking at over in downtown Santa Ana. That's really cute, what they did. The lights. Yeah. 
and the pumpkins. These houses? Maybe? Like houses. Oh, there's an Albertsons. I don't know how popular Albertsons is. It's popular for the fancy people. Albertsons is fancy? Yeah. I mean, it ain't no 99 cents store for sure. If you want to check these places. Oh, these have the complex. Oh, it's oh no, shady. it's another complex. These are super tiny. They look well kept, though. So this one's not in downtown, but it's about five minutes away from downtown. This is another condo. There's bars on the first floor. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can kind of see bars. Let's but see. there's no parking here, so we can't really get in. And it's gated, so unless we wait for somebody to come in or out, we can't really go in. Wow, there's literally no parking. I mean, we can drive around the neighborhood and see how it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, they're oh. That's fast. You see the tagging on the stop sign? Yeah. But it says 6th Street. I don't know if they're just trying to be nice because we're on 6th Street and people can't read the sign. Huh. But we'll keep driving. But I don't see parking. We've driven around the block because we couldn't find it at first. We thought it was on the main street, but apparently it's through the back and that's a red zone no parking and these condos don't offer uh parking it's street parking street only. parking only which really sucks okay we have a little liquor store right here There's a tire shop, a car wash, another auto place. There's houses though. Yeah. And these are it. Those are the complexes right there. Liquor store. How many liquor stores can you have in a block? <laughs> You have an in-and-out right there. I like Jack-in-the-box. <laughs> it's not a huge like name brand store. It's just but like that little could change. Mom and pa shops right here. There's some houses on this side. There's a school right here. More condos. These look kind of 